North Carolina Republicans have worked hard in recent years trying to eliminate gun laws, not add new ones. Candidates raise a lot of money and win elections, promising to protect Second Amendment rights. Gun rights advocates oppose laws that infringe on their right to own and carry a weapon. Republican lawmakers in North Carolina want to eliminate the state's concealed carry permit, which has existed for more than 100 years. Governor Cooper's veto is the only thing keeping that permit alive. But that could change this year if Republicans win a supermajority of the legislature come November. Should North Carolina do away with the concealed carry permit for weapons? I think in North Carolina now, uh, and a lot of states have done this, um, I think the concealed carry uh, permit has become more of a, a burden uh, than a benefit. And uh, I feel like that we ought to abolish those. Um, and a lot of problems we have is with red tape from state to state. Um, the laws change from state to state. People, when they're carrying their firearms, they don't know what the laws are. They have to get on the internet to find out what they are. Um, I think we ought to abolish it, uh, all 50 states. Republican candidates Steve Ross in Alamance County and Brian Biggs in Randolph, who just won their primary elections, oppose the concealed carry law. Incumbent Reese Pirtle, a former police officer who won his primary in Rockingham County, is one of the few Republicans who supports concealed carry. It's working pretty good. Uh, I have my concealed carry permit. I have a background in law enforcement. I think that uh, it's, uh, I have no problem with the concealed carry permit as it is, as it's written. North Carolina's congressional delegation shows strong support for gun rights as well. Senators Richard Burr and Tom Tillis are among the top five senators receiving NRA money. Most Republican candidates for Congress that we interviewed for the recent primary also pledged their support for gun rights. Christian Costelli, he won the GOP primary for Congress in North Carolina's 6th District. His campaign website states that he is a, quote, life member of the NRA and a responsible gun owner and says, I will always support and defend your right to gun ownership. We've also worked very hard to try to, to stop school violence, school shootings. Richard Hudson, an incumbent now running in the 9th Congressional District, says the country needs more common sense, not more gun laws. You know, before the dust is even settled, before we even know anything about the shooter or the firearm, uh, you see the, the liberals come out and say, oh, we've got to have more gun control laws. There is no universal background check for gun sales. Red flag laws that temporarily take guns away from people who pose threats exist in only 17 states. And in North Carolina, the only gun legislation proposed in recent years is one to eliminate the concealed carry permit. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.